on this episode of China Uncensored. Holy see. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. The Vatican, known for priceless works of art, top secret archives, and Jude Law's pet kangaroo. At least one of those things is not real. Probably. Anyway, last week, the Vatican held a summit on organ trafficking and transplant tourism. And the real-life not-young pope has called these things a new form of slavery and a crime against humanity. So everyone was a little surprised when the Vatican invited this man to speak, China's transplant chief, Dr. Huang Jiefu. Why? Well, it's kind of like holding a summit on how to stop people from stealing food and inviting the Hamburglar as your keynote speaker. Dr. Huang Jiefu has been accused of being a part of and covering up the Chinese regime's prolific organ trafficking and transplant tourism. Holy see? More like holy Nazi. No, not Nazi. Nazi like they're not seeing the obvious. Uh, moving on. The Catholic Church approves of organ donation and transplantation, a tradition dating back to this guy. But I'm pretty sure there's some kind of prohibition against a government killing people for their organs. I think that might be covered by one of the commandments. I mean, it's been a long time since I went to Bible school, but that makes sense, right? Except that's exactly what the Chinese regime has been doing. There is a mountain of evidence that China has a large and complex system to kill prisoners of conscience and harvest their organs for transplant. A single organ can fetch six figures, so a lot of people in China are profiting from this. This report released last year estimates that between 60 and 100,000 organs are taken from innocent people in China every year. And for a long time, the Communist Party was able to hide what they were doing. But it's not as easy now as it used to be. People are wising up. For instance, this declaration last year by the European Parliament condemned China's organ harvesting. Then there's this one from the U.S. House of Representatives. A major liver transplant journal, Liver International, just retracted a study by Chinese liver surgeons because it seemed like the donors weren't so voluntary. And mainstream media are actually reporting on it as well, without using words like allegedly. Dr. Huang Jiefu, despite trying to paint himself as a reformer, has personally been involved in some sketchy things. In 2005, he performed a high-profile public demonstration of a liver transplant. Just to be on the safe side, he ordered two extra matching livers as backups. They were never used. For those of you who aren't transplant surgeons, let me explain the problem with that. As The Guardian puts it, livers are extremely sensitive and need to be removed quickly and are often unsuitable for transplantation by the time the patient dies. So to be able to order two extra livers mean Chinese hospitals must have had a pool of people already set aside, still alive, with all their blood work done so they could match the organs so their livers could be harvested. So where do China's 60 to 100,000 organs every year come from? According to the report I mentioned, they come from Falun Gong adherents, the Uyghur ethnic group, Tibetans, and House Christians. So the Chinese regime is killing Christians for their organs and then sending their representative to a conference in the Vatican on how to stop organ trafficking and transplant tourism. For the past few years, Dr. Huang has been traveling around the world trying to convince everyone that China's organ transplant system is fine now and made up of volunteer donors. No one said prisoners couldn't volunteer, right? As you can see in that quote, there's another sneaky thing Dr. Huang does. He's trying to make it sound like the Communist Party only uses death row criminals for their organs. When in reality, it's mostly using prisoners of conscience, people who the party is persecuting for their beliefs. You can understand now why so many people were mad. The Chinese regime wanted to use its presence at this summit to show that, hey, our organ transplant system is totally legit and accepted by the rest of the world. You might argue, maybe the Vatican made an innocent mistake by inviting Dr. Huang. They didn't know. But when the international outcry went out about this, their official response 
left something to be desired. They said the summit was meant to be an academic exercise and not a reprise of contentious political assertions. Yeah, the Vatican. They never get involved in politics. But seriously, why would the Vatican invite the guy not only involved in, but trying to cover up the same crimes against humanity the Pope has called out? The guy who's also very likely indirectly involved in killing Christians inside of China. Well, it could be a coincidence, but the Vatican is trying to work out a deal with the Chinese Communist Party over the appointment of bishops. Around the world, the Roman Catholic Church is responsible for appointing its bishops. But in the 1950s, the Chinese Communist Party set up its own organization to do that. It's called the Chinese Patriotic Catholic Association, because you can believe in God after you believe in the party. I'm serious. The Chinese Patriotic Catholic Association is under the jurisdiction of the Communist Party. So if you want to be a Catholic in China, you have two choices. One, belong to the Patriotic Church, where your highest authority is not the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but the officially atheist Communist Party. Or two, belong to an underground church and risk being arrested or having your organs harvested. Neither of these are great options. And when the Catholic Church has tried to appoint their own bishops or priests in China, they tend to get kidnapped and arrested. So that's a problem. But recently, the Cardinal of Hong Kong said that the Holy See and China have reached a preliminary consensus that will lead to an agreement over the appointment of bishops in China. So basically, the Catholic Church is considering making a deal with the Communist Party. The agreement is ostensibly over the appointment of bishops, but ultimately involves the entire issue of religious freedom in China. Because as China's leader puts it, religious groups must adhere to the leadership of the Communist Party. The same party that's harvesting Christians' organs, selling them for profit, and then sending their top doctor to the Vatican to lie about it. That Communist Party. So there's concern that the church might be sacrificing human rights and religious freedom in order to establish diplomatic ties and get more control over bishops in China. Well, as Cardinal Tong put it, the moral principle of the church teaches us to choose the lesser of two evils. So what do you think? I'd especially love to hear from our Catholic viewers. Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time.